Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let's begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memory of St. Teresa of Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. She is the first female doctor of the church. She, which is St. Teresa and St. John of the Cross, founded the reform of the Carmelite friars and nuns. So she's the author of the book of Way of Perfection and Interior Castle. She was born in Spain, so therefore she's the preacher of the Spain. And the intention for this Mass we offer and pray for the repose of the soul of Maxima Bolute, Leonardo Guman, Antonite Russell Resi, Fred Kate Namaho, Joao Maria Nivia Dines, Intentions of Daisy Quinto, Intentions of Daniela. Elisa Ukawa, the intention of Albert and Dorothy Bogitti on 70th anniversary. And we also pray for the repose of the soap, Peter Deng. Now let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most evil fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who through your spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the foot of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God to the holy ones who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In Christ, we have redemption by his blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor, 
that he set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send them, I will send to them prophets and apostles, some of them they will kill and persecute, in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law. You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourself did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him as something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. As we know that uh, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Teresa of Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. So I want to share this uh, article from her writing, from her works for you about her spiritual life, how she discovered the path to perfection. If Christ Jesus dwell in a man and his friend and noble leader, that man can endure all things. For Christ health and strengthen us and never abandons us. He is a true friend 
And I clearly see that if we expect to please Him and receive an abundance of His graces, God desired that these graces must come to us and from the hands of Christ through His most sacred humility in which God takes delight. Many, many times I have perceived this to the experience. The Lord has told it to me. I have definitely seen that we must enter by this gate if we wish His sovereignty majesty to reveal to us great and hidden mysteries. A person should desire no other path, even if he is at the summit of contemplation. On this road, he walks safely. All blessings come to us through our Lord. He will teach us, for in beholding his life, we find that he is the best example. What more do we desire from such a good friend at our side? Unlike our friends in the world, he will never abandon us when we are troubled or distressed. Blessed is the one who truly loves him and always keeps him near. Let us consider the gracious St. Paul. It seems that no other name fell on his lips than that of Jesus, because the name of Jesus was fixed and embedded in his heart. Once I had come to understand this truth, I carefully considered the lives of some of the saints, the great contemplatives, and found that they took no other path. Francis Antonio of Badoa, Bernard, Catherine of Siena. A person must walk along this path in freedom, placing himself in God's hands. If God should desire to raise us to the position of one who is an intimate and shares his secret, his sacred, we ought to accept this gladly. Whenever we think of Christ, we should recall the love that led him to bestow on us so many graces and favors, and also the great love God showed in giving us in Christ a pledge of his love. For love calls for love in return. Let's strive to keep this always before our eyes and to rouse our ourselves to love him. For if we are sometime, the Lord should grant us the grace of impressing his love on our hearts. All will become easy for us, and we shall accomplish great things quickly and without effort. Every one of us keep our spiritual life. That is the personal spiritual life between individual with God. So how do we perfect our spiritual life with God? As St. Teresa today discovered the path that leads to perfection in the spiritual life. So as in um, the responsorial Psalms that we heard that the Lord has made known his salvation. God made known his salvation to us. So therefore we know that there is a God, there is a Father, there is a loving God. So therefore that we gather here to celebrate, to give thanks to him, to worship him. If God did not reveal himself, none of us know. We don't have that capacity to discover God. Only God made known himself to us. So therefore, the Lord has made known his salvation. And our part is that receive that salvation, discover the path to perfection as Santa Teresa shows us today.
Let's take in our meditations the reading of Saint Teresa that I read. May God bless each of us. Please stand. The response for this is that you are our life, O Lord. You are our life, O Lord. Let us pray to God who gave salvation to his people. You are our life, O Lord. Blessed are you, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for by your mercy we have been reborn to a living hope to the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. You are our life, O Lord. You made man in your image and renew him in Christ. Mold us into the likeness of your Son. You are our life, O Lord. Pour out your love to the Holy Spirit. Heal our heart, wounded by hatred or jealousy. You are our life, O Lord. Today, grant work to laborers, bread to the hungry, joy to the sorrowful, grace to the redemptions of all men. You are our life. And we pray for all the souls that we offer Mass today. You are our life, O oh Lord. Lord, let the knowledge of salvation enlighten our heart so that free from fear, and from the power of our enemies, we may serve you faithfully all the days of our life. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Put up the earth and work up in hands. It become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Put up the vine and walk up in hands. He become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of his holy church. May our offerings, O Lord, be accepted to your majesty, to whom the devoted service of St. Teresa was pleasing in such great measure, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always 
and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your Spirit upon them, let the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaken of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring hell to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Maron Cara our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Maximat Bolute. Leonardo Guman, Antonite and Roussel Reci, Fred Kate Mamaho, Drought and Maria Nivia Dennis, Peter Deng. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may make this be called as eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from the trust, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord our God, that your obedient family, whom you have fed with the bread from heaven, may follow the example of Saint Teresa and rejoice to sing your mercy for all eternity through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael, the archangel, defends us in battle. We are defense against the wickedness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou so, Prince of the Holy Host, by the power of God, thrust on Jehovah Satan, and all the evil spirit who prowl by the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, Saint Joseph, Saint Bernard, Saint Teresa of Jesus, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day to all of you. Thank you very much.